What's up guys, it's Brain TCT and welcome back to another Rites of Civilizations video. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about cavalry units. Before we get into this video, I want to say that please subscribe because I make daily Rites of Civilizations videos and that would really help me out. So, um, I, so, and that would really help out my channel and me progressing. So, um, please subscribe and also I do make daily Rites of Civilizations videos here. So, who doesn't want daily tips on Rites of Civilizations? But enough talking about me, let's get into the video topic today. Today we're going to be talking about cavalry units. So here's our cavalry units over here. So cavalry units, they're the fastest troop in the game. This is why one of the reasons why they're so good, because they're able to get farther distances, especially in Ark of Osiris. They're able to outrun all the other troops, but they are conquered by infantry. So um, if there is something that's reinforced by a ton of infantry, then... Cavalry is most likely going to lose, but they can outrun anything, so they're really good for escaping. And um, I'm getting reinforced with resources because I need help with upgrading my wall. But we're not talking about in this video. That in this video, so um, I also use one cavalry for um, I what I want to get runes and stuff because the lower level um, the troop is the um, the less. Um, the more fast it is so um, as you can see over here it says very fast right there and over here it says uh, slow so it doesn't mean that they're really slow but they're um, they're slower than the first than um, than those units so um, as you can see I'm going to show you let's go to this one I also did videos on other units. Um, I'll be you guys can check those out. If, but if they haven't come out already, then please turn the notifications so that you guys get those videos when they first come out. And um, so I'm gonna show you guys. So it's 43 seconds for a long swordsman to be able to get over there, or a infantry unit, and then it's 30 36 seconds for an infantry, which is a lot faster, and then um, 41 seconds, which is not as um, fast as cavalry, but it's, um, it's not that much slower, and archers are a little bit faster than infantry, but not that much. I made another video on cross, I mean, archers, but if that hasn't come out already, then, um, you guys can watch out for that video, and, um, obviously, uh, siege units are the slowest, with 47 seconds, and then I'll show you guys here, 31 seconds instead of when you when I want to do cavalry it's 36 seconds so if you're trying to get a rune or something and you're not really trying to fight anybody then cavalry can be the best choice I would say so that's about oh wait no no I, that's not it okay so uh, I'm gonna I did another video on cavalry units which are the best speed wise and I don't know if I did a video on best cavalry um, attacking commanders if I have it, then you do a video on that. That's a good video idea. But um, the best cavalry attack commander would be Minamoto and Sao Sao. And there's a lot of other cavalry units, um, unit commanders, but those are the best because they have good cavalry attacking buffs. And um, and I did a debatable video on um, which is the fastest commander. It made a mistake in that video. I said that Lancelot has. 15% speed bonus, but I didn't see, I didn't read the top, and it says when he's less than 50% of his units, he's he has a march speed of 15%. Um, I didn't see that, I probably should have looked out for that when I was doing that video, so I'm sorry about that. Um, I might need to do, do another video, because that information could have been wrong. I'm probably not going to, but um, I just thought I'd throw that out there for people who have already seen that video. And... Um, so that's about it for this video make sure to leave a like and share this video with anybody else that might want to know about this information thanks for watching everyone i'll see you guys in the next video 